Hello, my name is Anne, and this is Toby. And welcome to episode 100. I'll say that again. 100 of a Toby Knits podcast. I can't believe we're at 100 already. Um, or that I've been making them this long. It's been a couple of years now, and uh, I'm still really enjoying doing them. Um, it, yeah, it's just crazy to think that I've been doing all this knitting for this long. Well, I mean, I've been knitting for a long time, but showing you what I've been knitting for this long. And some of them, I think, did incorporate my other projects at one time. But now that I've split them up into three different days, so Mondays is knitting, uh, Wednesdays is cross stitch and Fridays is quilting it's a little bit easier for everybody to follow along especially if you're not really that keen on quilting then just don't watch it on Fridays <laughs> simple um, but of course I would like it if you watched them all um, so yeah so let's get on with today's knitting fun <clears throat> I typically tend to knit Tuesday nights Thursday nights and Saturday evenings. That's when I do my knitting. So I only knit three nights a week. I don't particularly knit during the day, unless we're in the car going somewhere, then of course the car knitting comes with me because both of the two projects I'm working on, well, three of them, are all small enough that I can put in a small bag, it's usually one of my little Toby Knits bags, and can take with me in the car. Um, the first project that I'm working on is the Mitered Square Blanket, and I am using the um, 20 gram minis in a little set that comes each month from Ellie of Craft House Magic. She hand dyes them, and so I've been using them. And I started this in January, I think, and the very first bottom row is the Legacy Fiber Arts from a long time ago advent. But the ones that are here in this these rows are the ones from Ellie. So the first blue bunch are her Januaries, and then this is um, her February. And I had was there last week, I believe, when we checked in. So I have done that. Haven't done my ends. My ends are all still needing to be sewn in. And I did a white one and I'm on this one. So I didn't really get a lot done, two and a half squares. Um, but it's still growing and I'm still having fun doing it. Did no work whatsoever on my Triangulum blanket, which is this one. Also another Ellie project um, from Craft House Magic. What's the matter, Toby? What a little boy. You wanna go outside? Oh, no. I need to let him out. No, oh, I'll get him back. Um, so yeah, this was the triangulum and I'm making the triangles in of each month's color as one flower, just using one of the colors twice. And so I'm still waiting for March. I ha I could have, if I wanted, put another white in between here on these two while I was waiting, but I thought no. Then I was thinking, okay, so when I get, maybe instead of doing a th the next one here, maybe I should do the next March color down here, but do I want it here or here or here? Like, do I want to stagger the whites? There's so many things to think about when you come, when you're, you know, setting your colors up for a project. So anyway, so I haven't done any more of that because, and this is what's so fun about this project that I'm trying. I'm trying not to buy too much yarn this year. I'm only buying at the moment Ellie's monthly yarn from her mixtape minis. So from each of these minis, I have been able to get a whole row, like all these mitered squares, 
well not all the squares but you know what I mean so I've got this there and then I was able to put one in this triangular blanket and then what I'm doing with the rest is making a pair of socks to see if I can use them up and I wasn't sure how it would work if I'd have enough to do it so I followed a pattern from Ann Budd's uh, book on how to make socks or something I forget what it was called and um called the Fibonacci method and it's where when you're knitting the sock you use the color and then you knit so many rows of that color then you change and you knit another two rows of another color then you add those two rows together and then the next color becomes that many stitches and then you add the two last rows together and so on look i finished one i absolutely love these i think they're my favorite pair of socks so far and i just did a very vanilla pattern cast on 64 stitches with a 2.25 needle did a rib of knit two purl two for i think 11 rows and then i went into the two three five eight thirteen broke for my heel flap and yarn because i wanted these to be sh i like short socks i don't like the ones that go halfway up your leg i like short socks plus you can get more out of them right and i was so worried because i didn't know how much i'd have left of this yarn after the two squares because the two squares was why i got the yarn it wasn't to make socks with but when i realized how much i had left over i don't want to make socks so then I did the heel flap and turn and started again with, um, with, it's hard to see really, cause it's on the corner with one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, And I started this one with a one because otherwise if I went back here and did two, it would be exactly the same pattern all the way down the sock. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to look different does that even make sense yeah so then i was able to go to one two three five eight thirteen now thirteen was that very first gray so then when i did one it was this color and then so on and so on and so on till i got to the end and put in um, an umbrella toe which is a toe I learned to do from Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And so there's my sock. Now, what I did was I did two at the same time. So all I have left on this one to do is to do this green area and a couple of rows here and then the toe. And then they're both finished. I figured I'd do two at the same time uh because then it was it's done quicker because by the time you finish one you're so pleased with this you don't really feel like doing the next one it's called sock and, second sock syndrome um now the other thing i learned from this because you're striping and in some cases you're doing just one row and then two there's a lot of ends and at the beginning and you can see it on this because i did it on this i only just kind of learned it in this portion of my other sock um when you are can you see the way this side here there's like a hole here these two stitches are bigger what i was doing was as i joined my yarn i did the weave in steven method that i'd learned when i did steven west shawl where you wrap your yarn over your thread as you're going and kind of weave it in but it just i don't like it it didn't look right on socks with sock yarn i didn't think so you can see on this one well you can't see it on that side because it isn't but here's the side that i did so what i did here instead was literally i unwove them when i'd finished the toe when i got it all turned inside out i unwove it then I tied a little knot and then I took each strand and went one way and the other and weaved them in. Yes, it took a lot longer. 
but it looks so much nicer, I think. So I think I'm not going to do the Weave and Steven when it comes to socks because it just didn't look right. Now, talking about socks and before I go, because I'm going to go in a minute, because um, my dinner's cooking. These are a pair of socks that I have from uh, Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And I think this was my tea at Downton socks. And I love them. The pattern was fabulous to knit. But what was happening was this. A hole was developing at the base of my foot. I must have like hard skin there or something or, and it was, th this one is going terribly. The other one went, huge hole. And I thought, I'm not throwing them out. So I dug around to find my sock of that color. Wait till you see it. The yarn of that color, I should say. And I looked up how to do repair socks. I remember years ago, my grandmother had this round thing, almost looked like a mushroom, that she'd stick up a sock and then she'd do some kind of sewing backwards and forwards and there it was. Um, of course, she's not here for me to ask, so this is my mother, so I had to look up YouTube. And I found this one, which I thought was, I couldn't believe and get over it. And look, I fixed my hole. Isn't that cool? So, but look, that's the color this yarn was. <laughs> Let's see how much it's worn and got washed over the last two years or however long. Let me just turn it inside out so you can see there is the back side. So it's not an actual little square patch that I did and then sewed on. I actually, the way it works is you pick up with a double pointed needle all the stitches along the bottom, like one of the legs. And you then thread a long piece of the yarn on a darning needle and go under here somewhere and up at the start of that uh, first stitch. Then you use that yarn with the darning needle dangling at the end and you knit across. When you get to this end, you pick up the darning needle and you go up into another stitch leg, one or two up, pull it up and then you use that yarn again and you go all the way back and I think you purl back yeah you purl back and you just keep doing that until you've got way past the hole that you're on and I just thought that this was an amazing way to do it um I think the name of the it was River City Yarns so I'm guessing they're a yarn shop and it was from two years ago, but I will leave a link below to show you. But I thought I'd share that because I was really impressed. And uh, but I was more laughing at the fact that this is now the color. <laughs> this was the color my socks were. So they have been well worn and I love them immensely. Anyway, I'm going to make my supper. We're having meat pies tonight, mashed potatoes, gravy and broccoli. Mm. It's a very good day today. Today is actually Sunday, the 20th of March. So this morning was the very first F1 of the season. And uh, I was thrilled a bit with that. And my Lewis came third. And um, I was very happy too that Ferrari were doing so well. They came first and second. Hmm, who knew? And then of course Liverpool had to play today as well, didn't they? In the FA Cup uh, quarterfinals. And they beat Nottingham 1-0. So I was really pleased with that. Ooh. Okay, so not that you need to know about my sporting efforts, but there you go. I'm going to get my dinner now. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.